So welcome to today's lesson. On today's lesson, we'll be learning how to derive the D'Alembert formula for solving um, initial value problem for the wave equation. So in our previous lesson, we learned how to derive the general solution to the wave equation here. And we had this, where our f and j are arbitrary functions. So today we are going to turn our attention to when we have initial value problem. How do we solve that? So we solve that using the D'Alembert formula. So you can see here we have our wave equation here and we have these two initial value conditions so initial conditions here where this here represents the initial displacement of position and this represents the initial velocity so let's start with our derivation so we know that the general solution to this wave equation here is given as u of xt equals f of xt then plus j of so this is that we have here but I realize that with the initial condition, we have ut here. So that means we have to find our ut of xt. That's um, find the derivative with respect to t throughout. So when we do the function here, you know, f is a function of this. So when we integrate, what, um, sorry, we differentiate what is here, <coughs> we are going to get c. And we differentiate everything. So we get this. And this is going to give us minus c. And we get j prime of x minus c t. So I hope you see that. All right. So right now, the next thing we do is that we put in our initial conditions. With the first one, we have u of x zero. That means that all the t components are zero. So this will give us f of x plus j of x. But remember, u of x zero here is equal to phi of x. Then when we put in our initial condition here in this, you're going to get u t x of 0 will be equal to so when you put x here and t equals 0 here you're going to get c f prime of x then minus c j prime of x and the whole of this is equal to real of x so when we have this then now it means we have these two equations here f of x plus j of x equals phi of x and we have c f prime of x minus c j prime of x cos rule of x. When we have this, um, when you get to this stage, what we do is that we try to eliminate the f prime here and the j prime here because we want to express um phi in f of x and g of x in terms of phi in real of x. So that means we have to get rid of this derivative that we have here. So what we can do is that we will have to integrate both sides to find the antiderivative. So when you do that, that's with this particular equation, we are going to get c f of x minus c g of x will be equal to the integral of real of x. All right, but we choose a certain ninth function. In this case, let's say um, y phi of x such that y prime of x is equal to real of x so you realize that when you find the integral of real of x that means you're going to get um phi of x so that means that here in replace of this we can put our y phi of x there so that now we've been able to eliminate the f prime and the j prime. So we are going to have these two equations. This will be our equation one and this will be our equation two. So let me write it here for you. We are going to get f of x plus j of x equal to phi of x. And we get c f of x minus c j of x equals phi phi of x. So we want to find for f of x and g of x so this is two systems of linear equations so we can use the formulas that we have we know and um, the methods like elimination or substitution so let's use elimination so let's multiply row one sorry the first equation by c so we will get c f of x plus j c j f of x so plus c j of x and equals to c phi of x then after that we add so this now is our equation so this is our equation one 
we multiply equation 1 by c let's name this equation 3 and the next thing we do is that we add equation 2 and 3 when you add equation 2 and 3 you will get 2c f of x no this and this goes to 0 we are going to get y phi of x plus c phi of x so that means that our f of x will be equal to um phi of x all over 2c then plus c over 2c phi of x so as we see here and this will give us f of x will be equal to so this c cancels this thing so you get 1 over 2 phi of x then plus y phi of x that's 1 over 2c all over 2c that's what it means so that means we have our f of x so we have to find our g of x but note that from equation 1 so this equation 1 f of x plus g of x equals 5 of x so that means that g of x is just equal to this minus this so that means we have our g of x being phi of x minus f of x and this will give us phi of x minus so f of x is everything here so we have 1 over 2 phi of x then we have minus 1 over 2 c y phi of x so when we do simplification we are going to get um 1 over 2 here then we get minus 1 over 2 c of this so we get this for our g of x all right but remember that um the solution to our wave equation is g of x t equals f of x minus plus c t then plus g of x minus c t so we have f of x and g of x so that means that making substitution we have so our f of x is phi 1 over 2 phi x plus c t now because f of x is phi of x so f of x plus c t will be this then we had plus 1 over 2 c y phi of x plus c t and that of um j of x is this so that means g of x minus c t is going to give us let me write it here so we have plus 1 over 2 phi x minus c t then minus 1 over 2 c phi phi of x minus c t so when we get this what we do is that we can group like terms right so when you group like terms you are going to have 1 over 2 out then you have phi of x plus c t then plus phi of x minus c t then this is going to give us plus 1 over 2 c so we have phi phi of x plus c t then minus phi phi of x minus c t but remember that with our question we were giving the functions to be phi of x and rho of x so we have to change this back to rho of x but remember we said that with this we said um our uh, ring prime or phi prime of x was equal to our rho of x so that means that our phi of x here will be equal to the integral let's say from a certain initial value to x naught to x then rho of s the s know that the s here is just a dummy variable so that means that let's take this expression here so this expression here that's phi of x plus c t minus phi of x minus c t so that means here are going to get so here we will get integral from x naught to x plus c t then we have real s the s and here we are going to get minus the integral of s naught to x minus ct then real of x dx 
But remember from our laws in integration that um, when you have minus integral here, you can change the limit of integration and this becomes positive. So this is the same as integral s naught s plus ct rule of s ds then plus s minus ct s naught rule of s ds and note that realize that um this is s minus ct and you have s naught here and s naught here and this s naught here can be found in this interval so this can also be written as s minus ct s plus ct then real of s ds so that means this expression here so let's notice it so that means this expression here is what we've just written down as that equation there so that means that our formula now reduces to u of x t will be equal to 1 over 2 pi of x plus c t and plus phi of x minus c t then plus 1 over 2 c the integral from s minus c t s plus c t rule of s d x so this is the the Lambert formula for solving initial value questions regarding the wave equation. So, note that the phi and the rule here are just arbitrary functions. We could have chosen them to be any um, constant. So, some people could have chosen maybe j, y, anything holds. So, thank you very much.